A look at Canada's West Coast. Beautiful British Columbia. We are in Vancouver for Raptors training camp. A little bit cloudy, but nothing but sunshine on the inside of Raptors training camp as they get going on day one. Welcome inside said facility, the Christine St. Clair Community Center here in Burnaby, BC. Paul Jones, alongside 16 year veteran. Matt Devlin, 16 years with well, this organization, huh? You? I mean, you know, you go back your day one. <laughs> so it's always good to be out here in Vancouver. It's been a few years, obviously, last year, Victoria, and year prior to that, as we know, Tampa. Uh, so, you know, great to be back here in Vancouver. Know the game sold out in 20 minutes against Sacramento right. and look forward to that. All right. We also look forward to a lot of newness this year, Matt. New team, new coach, uh, new philosophy. Uh, one of the new players that's key is Dennis Schroeder coming off an absolutely outstanding summer with the German national team and a gold medal in the World Cup. You know, it's interesting. During the summertime, I was able to speak to Gordy Herbert, who, of course, is from Penticton, British Columbia. He's the head coach for the German national team. He also coached the U23 team, as you well know, at the Global Jam. And this was right after Dennis Schroeder had signed with the Toronto Raptors. And just the glowing remarks yeah. from Gordy about the person that he is and then also what he brings to a team. And I think that when you look at the Raptors from last season to this season, the addition of a Dennis Schroeder is certainly impactful. And then we saw that ultimately during the World For Cup, sure. right? And so this is a player that has kind of emerged over the of course, he's an NBA veteran, has a long-standing relationship with Darko. But even in speaking to Gordy Herbert, one of the things that for him personally, you know, when you think about German basketball, you think about Dirk Nowitzki. Well, they just accomplished something that they had never accomplished before. Dirk or not. Right. And so Dennis Schroeder having that sort of platform, that stage, embraced it and ultimately thrived and now bringing that here to the Toronto Raptors to me is extremely impactful. 11 year veteran, a gold medalist in the World Cup and above all else a real competitor. Let's hear from Dennis Schroeder. How much fun was that this summer? Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I mean we've been uh, working for it you know for I think over 10 years now. We've been playing with the national team. Uh, last year we got you know, third place in the Eurobasket and um, to come up on top in the World Cup is uh, insane. I can still uh, realize it. So, um, but I mean, it was a great summer. It was uh, together as a team, uh, the whole tournament and even, you know, preseason. Um, yeah, it was just great. Talked a lot about the specifically offensive style changes he wants to make, one through four being more interchangeable, making quicker decisions. You've been in this league for a little bit now. How, how much can guys change their habits and their playing style at, this, uh, at various points of their career? I mean, I was five years in the league and then uh, went from Atlanta to OKC where I played with Russell and PG. Then my seventh season, I played with Shea and Chris. Uh, after that, I played with LeBron and AD. Then Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum. Back to LeBron James, AD, Austin Reeves, D'Lo. And I found a way. If everybody's professional, everybody you know cares about winning, everybody puts their ego to the side, and we play team basketball. And uh, I think that's what we did, you know, this summer um, with the national team. And I tried to, you know, bring this uh, to this locker room. Uh, we got a great group of guys, great coaching staff, and um, yeah, we try to get better each day. What do you think an experience like that can have on, on your NBA career? I mean, uh, of course, it's uh, great to win the World Cup, but I mean, NBA is a different ball game, you know. Um, but uh, still very confident, very confident in this group. Um, I mean, first day of training camp was great, but we guys keep building, keep getting better every single day. And um, I think we, you know, we can do something with this group. Now, I know you talked about your, your history with Darko and how that played a part in your decision to come here. What is it about what you saw in him as an assistant coach that you think will translate really well to the, the main chair? Main I team? mean, what I love about coaches, uh, that he keeps everybody in the locker room accountable. 
And I mean, we had the Russell Westbrook, we had PG, you know, and he kept everybody accountable. And it's not, you know, to take them down, it's uh, to lift them up. And um, that's from the first player to the 15th player. And that's what I really uh, liked about Darko. Um, as a person, I know how he is, he's a family person. And, um, you know, we had a lot of break bread together uh, in OKC. Um, his family is such, you know, uh, close to me as well. And my family, my wife, you know, likes him as well. So it was an easy decision for me to come here because um, I know what he's about. All right, another addition. I guess you could call him a new addition, returning addition. Otto Porter Jr. Here's a guy, Matt, who had a tremendous role in the championship for Golden State. The Raptors had struggled in three-point shooting the year last year, and getting Otto back, well, that's, it's kind of like signing a free agent, a guy who only played eight games, but he's coming back into the lineup this year, expected to help fill a void shooting from three. Well, that's something that we know when you go back to last season and you look at where the Toronto Raptors ranked three-point shooting, it was in the bottom five. And in today's NBA, as we can't all know, that. can't have that. So you have to be able to make that three, and it helps in a lot of different ways. Certainly spacing is one of them, uh, but then also uh, being able to add to a lead and or cut into a lead. But having auto back is... I think extremely important. He's, you know, nearly a 37% career three-point shooter. You don't need him for 20 minutes a night. I mean, you look at Golden State, you're not going to need him in every single game, but you certainly are going to need that presence, the ability to stretch the floor. And so if you can get 15 minutes and if he can put up three, four threes during that time um, and shoot what his career uh, has been up to this point, then it's going to be a major benefit. Now, it's not all on his shoulders, as right. we know. You know, Dennis Schroeder, we just, you know, heard from him. You know, his three-point shooting has certainly improved. OG, we know how lethal he can be from the corners, right? Obviously, you add Grady Dick as well. And so, and, and, and there's always that internal aspect, as we've known yeah. with the Toronto Raptors. And, and can Gary Trent Jr. be a little bit more consistent? We know what his numbers uh, have been in the past. So I like, you know, the fact that you have a vet in Otto Porter that can knock it down. I, I think that's really key, Matt, in, as you said, in having a vet. I mean, you have Thad Young. You also have Garrett Temple. And you have, you know, guys like Pascal Siakam, OG and Ananobi. You've got some vets. Otto Porter comes in. He's going to hopefully give some three-point shooting and provide some veteran leadership. Let's hear from Otto Porter Jr. You only had eight games last year. Uh, you A long rehab process. You're feeling just to be back out in the court. Uh, it feels good uh, to be back, uh, fortunately. Had to, having to deal with that last year, um, you know, just trying to look forward to this year, um, getting back to where I can play and contribute to the team. How long does it take to adjust to new terminology, all of the newness, even with the same guys that you know? Uh, well, we've been together in the summertime. We've been in L.A., team mini camps, uh, able to get with all the guys uh, and start from there, really. So, I mean, we've been around each other all summer, so it actually helps. For a training camp, you know, we can go right into uh, more detailed things and then uh, pick back up. Uh, coming off of last season and all the injuries, do you have any personal goals for this season? Just to be healthy. Be healthy, get out there, compete, uh, try to compete for a championship. The preseason kicks off on Sunday from Rogers Arena in Vancouver. The Toronto Raptors will take on a playoff team from last year, the Sacramento Kings. Lots of Canadian connections there. Assistant coach Jay Triano. Assistant coach Jordy Fernandez, who led Canada to the bronze medal. The Kings will be in the house as they take on the Raptors in the first preseason game. And it will be the first preseason game leading the team for Raptors' new head coach, Darko Ryakovic. Says he had a great day at practice. A uh, lot of guys adjusting to new terminology. He has his rules. He knows how he wants his team to play, and it's about implementing that philosophy and all those standards as the Raptors work their way through training camp. We had a chance to talk to him after day one of camp. Here is Darko Ryakovich. Coach, what does it look like on the first day, like the first day of school, with everything new for everybody except your ideas? 
Uh, it was a great day for us today. Um, energy was uh, so high, uh, attention to detail was uh, on a high, high level. Uh, obviously, new terminology, uh, new schemes. Uh, we had to talk to, to our guys and to explain why we're doing certain things. But uh, they did a really good job picking up on that on, on the first day. You mentioned uh, 0 0.5 yesterday in terms of decision making. This team, for the last few years, has been sort of more slower in the half court, let's say. How much can players, especially experienced players, change at this level? Uh, everybody can change if uh, there is a willingness to change. And uh, I think that our guys today in first practice uh, showed uh, great intention. Uh, I think we did a really good job of moving the ball and uh, playing in much uh, higher pace in a half court. It was a fun day for us. How much do you watch the guys that have been here for a while in adjusting to that new terminology? Uh, it, it's going to be a change. It's going to be a change for them, uh, for sure. Uh, it's going to take a minute. Uh, Scotty called it at the end. He said we need to stick with the process and uh, we need to continue uh, grinding. So that, that's, that's ahead of us and we're going to continue doing that. That's it for day one of Raptors training camp. Join us for more. Stay right here on NBA TV Canada. Lots more to come from Vancouver Raptors training camp. We thank Matt Devlin for his thoughts, and we thank the talented people on the other side of the camera that you can't see. Stay with us here. More from training camp in Vancouver in the shows ahead.